With over a million gallons of water, a lazy river, five slides and lots of pools, a day at Sun and Fun Lagoon is so much fun. Sun and Fun Lagoon, heard it's the place to be. You can make a music video about it. Sun and Fun, Sun and Fun Cult. But while folks are having a good time, lifeguards are keeping a watchful eye, making sure everyone leaves safe and sound. The most important thing is going to be safety, of course. Um, lifeguards are there by the pools to make sure uh, if anybody's struggling, anybody needs any help, anybody has any questions about the facility or about any of our programs, that they're there to provide that customer service as well as make them feel confident in the water. Mackenzie's a program leader with Collier Parks and Recreation. She admits not everyone is ready to become a lifeguard. Um, a lot of 16 year olds come in here with the mindset we get a lot of serious people in because that people realize that are applying for the job at least that it is very serious, things can happen. We have um, anything can happen from someone fainting from the heat. A lot of people will come in with their camps, forget to drink water, having so much fun. We'll think I'm in a pool, I'm cooled off, it's cool, it's fine, um, and things happen. So I think if you're looking for a, a serious summer job, a serious job in general, lifeguarding is it. If you want to kick back and relax with your friends, this might not be for you. Alrighty, now let's begin and switch to the other leg. Lead lifeguard Noah Rogers is a certified lifeguard instructor. He says, although every lifeguard receives the proper training and certifications, mental concentration is the key to preventing accidents and saving lives. It's a little bit scary because like you're in a whole different mindset because you're just like, all right, I've been like on stand for two hours and then you see something, you're gonna begin to question it and you're like, oh my gosh, their head is not above the surface of the water. I blow my whistle, I jump in, I grab them, resurface them give them a primary assessment, make sure they're okay. Fortunate for me and all my experiences, I happen to have gotten there in time, give them appropriate care from there. And honestly, I don't know, I didn't understand it then, but it wasn't until later, like, I probably just saved someone's life from getting like in a far worse situation. And it's just like, a, oh, that just happened. But hey, you gotta like, get back out of the water, get back on sand. It could happen again in 30 seconds, but you know what? It's a very rewarding experience to know that you made a difference in someone's life and someone will definitely be grateful for that. But now let's make circles behind her back. Lifeguards also serve as fitness instructors and teach swim lessons at all of the county aquatic facilities. Good job. <laughs> Taking swim lessons for Ellen McKinney's grandchildren is a top priority. Biggest thing for me is I have a pool at home and if you have a pool or if you go to the beach or near water, you have to be able to swim. It is a total safety issue. Very, it's not an option. It's something you absolutely have to do. And you wanna go? Okay, you guys can start. It is totally amazing how good these teachers are. It's, they're just excellent, and the children have learned so much. My overall impression is that they care a lot. They give the children these cute little tools to work with. Like when they're learning the, um, the stroke, they'll have their arms be ice cream scoop, so they'll scoop the water and they'll teach them to count in their head for breathing and all kinds of little things that children can relate to so that they want to do it and can do it. And it's, they're just, when they're first starting, they're so there to reassure them. They don't push them beyond what their emotions are able to deal with. Go. Lifeguarding at Collier County Parks and Recreation takes a lot more than cool sunglasses. It also requires a big heart. I personally love coming to work and knowing that, that I'm here to provide a, provide a service to the community and, and that without us and without the lifeguards, the community wouldn't be able to enjoy this park um, fully or to its full extent, especially in a safe manner. So I personally, I love coming in every day and knowing that anything could happen and no matter what happens, I know my staff can handle it. I know we have it. And it's just, it's very pleasing to know that we're, be, we're able to um, provide that for, for the community.